Hello. Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? This is Tony Escobedo with the International Wealth Builders Association radio show presented by the real men of real estate. I am your host, Tony Escobedo. Um, so it's good to be here with you today. So um, we got a lot to talk about today. We are, I was testing my mic, make sure you can hear me. I believe all is good. <laughs> Let me know if you can hear me out there. A lot to talk about today. It's great to be here with you today. I saw you last month and uh, we had a great show. There is plenty to talk about today. So I'm glad that you are all here. Thank you for joining. I appreciate you. And we love that you are here today. We appreciate your listenership. And let's get right into it because we don't have a lot of time. I want to talk today in this first segment. Um, I think what we're going to talk about here is what um, is going on with my latest deals. And then later on in the show, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about what my prediction is for the next year in the real estate market and, and in the markets in general. So uh, I've been talking to my mentors and uh, I also uh, just got the Wellington letter, which is uh, this great letter from, uh, from these forecasters. And they've been right about pretty much everything the past 30 years. So um, Bert uh, Doman is the one that uh, uh, creates that letter and him and his team. So I'll talk about that, and because I'm privileged to get this information, I'm privileged to have great mentors like Matt Larson and Dean Graciosi and uh, other and other people as well uh, in my in my life. But I think this first segment, well, let me just tell you, let me just tell you first how I'm doing. <laughs> let me just tell you, let me just let me just refresh your memory who I am, who I is. I am Tony Escobedo, aka Sticks, aka Two Strides. AKA Toad Loke, Tone the Bone, just kidding. There's no reason why this can't be fun. So let's, let's make this fun, okay? Tony Escovedo, 56 years old. Yes, I said it on live radio. So uh, I'm originally from the San Gabriel Valley. I uh, was born in LA, uh, grew up in the San Gabriel Valley. We left when I was a kid to the San Gabriel Valley, I lived all over the San Gabriel Valley. So I share that with Tony Robbins. I'm in great company. Love him, by the way. He is my mentor's partner, Dean Graciosi, one of my mentors. He's his partner. Um, he changed his life too. Hint, hint. Uh, I mean, if you're listening to this show, I think you want more in your life. You're doing deals. You want to do deals. You, you're, you know, whether you're, you're at a high level or you're intermediate or you're just starting. Uh, Tony Robbins is a must. Dean Graciosi is a must. Uh, there's, there's plenty of others too. Those aren't the only ones. There's a ton on the internet, on YouTube. Go find them. So, um, and, and again, just to let you know about myself, uh, from the San Gabriel Valley, uh, I, pretty much Southern California now. Lived all over Southern California. I now make my home in downtown San Diego. Uh, I love downtown San Diego. It's beautiful. Not too many people here, uh, thankfully. And, uh, you know, you can walk around in the streets. Uh, I am legally blind, uh, partially sighted, however you want to say it, which is why AKA two sticks or two straws, because it's like looking through two straws. My buddies tease me. They call me that. Um, you know, they, we, we joke around. So, um, yeah, I, I uh, just, just basically from Southern California, lived in Mexico, lived in New York. Um, any event. I've uh, been wholesaling for 12 years now, 13 years. Um, I should say less than that, really, because I was just sending my leads to, well, let me back up. I did 45 wholesale deals on my own first. Uh, the first, ah, gosh, I've been in what, 12 years. So, so the first like four years, I uh, was just wholesaling on my own, did about 45 deals. And then I partnered with uh, Net Worth Realty, this big wholesale brokerage. They're, they're a great, they're a great company. And, and uh, I, I would just lead generate and send them uh, my leads. I grew a team. First, it was one VA. Now we have uh, three virtual assistants and then my, my partner uh, and son-in-law, Rick. And then, uh, and then I have, but I do deals with another little buddy and partner up in LA, for example, he, Jesse and I, 
and I'll do deals with anybody. So um, hit us up if you want to do deals with me. Let me know. We move deals. So, um, okay, so I partnered with Net Worth, uh, and I started sending them my leads, and then they would give me a piece of the um, fee whenever they would uh, resell it because they close on it and then resell it to a, a list of buyers. And that's great. You know, I'd get about a quarter of the fee. And right now I'm in 15 markets across the country in 10 different states. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um, you know, I'm blessed. And in Southern California now we're wholesaling. Uh, we, we still work with net worth, but I'm also wholesaling uh, as well. And I just did uh, three wholesale deals. And um, I, need a, I need applause after this one. Three wholesale deals. Um, uh, well, my, my end of it was... Um, well, I, I've just gotten paid on the one so far that it was uh, 51K, 51K on that deal on a, on a wholesale deal. Uh, the whole entire fee was 152K. And I might have mentioned that before on the previous show. It was 152K. Um, we, we gave 50K to an agent who brought us the buyer. We didn't have a buyer for that one. Uh, we, I wanted to move it very quickly, make sure we wholesaled it. Uh, my mentor told me to do that. Say, hey, just offer an agent 50K, bring your buyer. And because uh, we had so much spread and it was a, it was a grand slam home run universal deal. So uh, I did. And that's, um, you know, that was 51 K. I have two other deals in escrow totaling fees of 20 K for, for me. And then of course my partner gets 20 K. And so uh, Rick, my son-in-law. Um, and so uh, the one in LA I did with my little buddy, Chris up, up in LA. So those are the last three deals that we, we've done that, that we've wholesaled uh, after a hiatus of like eight years. And I got to say, it feels good. I recommend wholesaling. And so I'm doing pretty good. That's the state of me. I'm doing pretty good business-wise. Health-wise is a little challenge, but, um, you know, a couple things here and there. But I won't bore you with uh, all those details. But, um, <laughs> you know, uh, if you're feeling down, uh, one thing that uh, Dean Graziosi always says to do, my, one of my mentors, and uh, is he says, write down on a piece of paper what you're grateful for. If you're feeling in the dumps, write down on a, just start writing down what you're grateful for. I wrote down the other day, I'm like, I'm, I'm grateful for God. I'm grateful for my sight. I am uh, grateful for uh, my wife. I'm grateful for my grandkids. I'm grateful for my, uh, you know, my apartment, my clothes, the food, that it's safe where I live. I'm grateful for the beautiful sky. I'm grateful that I can see what I see. I'm grateful for my limbs, you know, so, you know, you start to see how blessed you are really, you know, and, um, and of course, love first and, uh, you know, business after, you know, it's gotta, it's gotta come from a place of love. It's gotta come from, you, you gotta find your why, why are you doing this? Why do you want to do this? You know, and that, that's what I've been thinking lately. That's, that's my, where I'm at lately, uh, is, is really going back to mindset now that I'm wholesaling. Because before it was easy to just send my deals to net worth, I didn't have to do anything. Matter of fact, it was basically passive income almost, pretty much passive, but a little bit here and there I had to do, but the team did the rest. And so, you know, uh, so we have a team of three now. Uh, no, excuse me, four. We have four, a team of four besides my son-in-law, Rick, besides Chris up in LA, um, you know, a separate team, but we, we, we team up on deals. So... Um, you know, so I go, I, I went back to mindset because I mean, this is so key folks. It all starts with mindset. You want to do deals. You really want to do wholesale deals or you are, you're an agent. You want to do agent deals. You can do wholesale deals as an agent. You should be, if you're an agent, I mean, it's a no brainer. Some people just, you know, they don't want to list with an agent. So you, you should, you know, say, Hey, I can move this deal. I can bring you a buyer. You know, I mean, you could potentially be the buyer, right? Or maybe you could flip it. You can get hard money, you know, or you just tell them, hey, I'm going to wholesale this. I'll bring a buyer. Yeah, well, we'll you, you're not paying any commission. I just get my, you know, I'll just, you know, set this up with a buyer and then I get my fee. Um, or you just get a separate agreement with the buyer. You don't even have to, um, you know, confuse the seller. But anyways, um, so mindset. Mindset is, 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 is how I'm doing. I am working on my mindset. I am, uh, I mean, it all starts with that. That's the rudder of the whole ship. You know, why am I harping on mindset, right? I mean, you want to hear like technicalities, which I'll get into in the next segment. Uh, and then the segment after that, I'll talk about my predictions for the year. Uh, and uh, they're very interesting, let me tell you. Uh, and so 
I think that, um, you know, it goes against conventional wisdom too, as a matter of fact, of, of, of what most agents are telling you, what most brokers are telling you, what most people, pundits on TV, they're wrong. They're pretty much all wrong. Um, so, um, and, and they've been wrong, but we'll talk about that in uh, one of the other segments. So, so mindset is, again, I circle back to mindset. We have to, we have to have a good mindset. Otherwise, we will not finish the race. You know, uh, I, I gave up many times in those first couple of years. I, I didn't get a deal until two years in, just so you know, okay? I've been doing this 12 years, almost 13. The first couple of years, no deals. I struggled. I got deals under contract, didn't have buyers, and boom. Uh, so uh, I, I lost deals. I didn't get an actual deal where I actually got paid until two years after. <laughs> two years after. So I'm a little slower than most, though. Uh, I don't think it needs to take you two years, you know, I, I, I mean, it, you know, I just, it takes me a little bit longer, a lot longer than in the beginning. Okay. There, don't give me any, don't give me any stuff about it. So <laughs> don't judge me. No, I, it just took, took me a little longer, but I think the average healthy person, um, and especially if you have sight and you can drive, I think that uh, it would take you way less longer. I think for sure in six months, you can get a deal. I don't want to make any claims here, but okay, call it a year <laughs> for sure. The first year, if you don't get a deal the first year, you're not trying. You're not really trying consistently. Okay. And uh, as I always say, you don't have to be good. You just have to be consistent. So you just got to be consistent and there's no judgment coming from me. I judge no one, even though we all kind of naturally judge, you know, people, I try not to judge anybody, especially in real estate and wholesale deals. I know how well tough it was for me in the beginning. And, um, I know it seems like a unicorn. I know it seems like an impossible feat. And again, there's so few people wholesale. I mean, there's so few. Do you know any wholesalers? Tell me. Do any of you know any wholesalers that do regular, consistent wholesale deals? I'm not, I'm not talking about one or two a year. You know, I'm talking about consistently. So, uh, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, <laughs> I, I, I have my buddy that does wholesale deals. And I know people in my mastermind group that I'm in. Uh, with Matt Larson, there are people there doing consistent deals. I don't know them. I just see them on there and they talk about their deals. And so I don't actually know any other wholesalers except for uh, my buddy who's, who's in Indianapolis. And we do deals there too. <laughs> so so I, I actually don't. So, you know, I know how rare we are. We are mythical creatures. You have to say an incantation to conjure us up. <laughs> I mean, you know, anyway, so like, you know, where, where, where you probably will have most chances of finding a wholesaler is going to your local RIA, your local real estate investment association. I recommend you go. I tell people to go. They don't take my, you know, they don't take my advice sometimes. They don't go. Mindset. It goes back to mindset. There, that for some reason, they don't want to spend 20, 30 bucks or, you know, you don't have to spend anything. You can go volunteer and you don't have to pay anything. Set up chairs, you know, uh, put out flyers there on a table there inside the meeting help with the sound system i don't know you know whatever it is that you can do to help and you don't have to pay and then you're there listening to the education there's education there's announcements um there's um you know um well there there's there's a speaker and then there's a market update i mean i can't tell you those are incubators my ria here in san diego is uh, san diego creative investors association or sdcia and uh it's amazing. We meet once a month, second Tuesday of every month. Uh, there's RIAs everywhere. You know, um, I attend another one up in North County called NSDREI. That just meets once a quarter. And uh, again, you know, they're amazing places. You may get a deal there. You may meet buy. You'll meet buyers there. So, anyways, we're going to go to break, and we will be back. So uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back. Fire Up Connect is the most innovative business networking group. 
supporting and collaborating with a dozen of small businesses that are interested in building and establishing strong business connections, hosting educational live seminars while carrying out business and community-driven projects, as well as marketing programs as a part of its membership program. FireUp Connect also offers virtual assistance with a wide range of services including inbound customer support, chat support, appointment setting and email management, graphic designing video editing, web design and development, social media marketing, e-commerce solution, content writing and much more. For more information, head on over to www.fireupconnect.com. FireUp Connect, helping success stories unfold every day. The toughest part in the lending process is patience. Like I tell all my clients, once you get those keys in hand, it'll all be worth it. Everything that they said they were gonna do, they did. I saved so much money working with First Lending Solutions. I love my new house. I couldn't be happier. So reach out to me at First Lending Solutions so I can help you get started. You can contact Dafina Miller with First Lending Solutions at 951-973-0123, DafinaMillerMortgage.com. I love how New School is able to help me greatly with my career because they actually have experience working in the field. The greatest thing about New School is the fact that there are so many different disciplines which allows you to really understand and get a good insight into different types of design. And I think it's that whole changing mindset of what design can really do for a city and this is kind of the place to be. This environment cultivates creative thinking. Real Men of Real Estate with Steve Matley, construction manager and real estate developer, business owner and educator. Did you know that right now there's 22,000 units deficit? Tunde Ogunwale, real estate development professional, Naval Academy grad and veteran with a deep understanding of the public sector process. All of us want to live in thriving communities. Brian Fox, real estate expert and investor dedicated to helping hundreds of clients make money in real estate every year. There's so much housing going in. The builders are begging for more land. Future company can come in, lease up space to employ those people who are living in the homes. We have to put the housing in place. They either, either have to have houses, they want to make sure that there's a strong employment logistics center. Things like information hubs. We are a shipping economy. Now, there's economies all over the country where their prices are doubling and tripling. Welcome back, folks. I need to remember to unmute my sound. You see, I was just saying that and nobody heard me, that I'm trying to get the sound right. I'm trying to do this right. This is my second time on radio, even though I know I sound like I've been doing this my whole life. I have been listening to radio my whole life. Well, up until 20 years ago. And then um, <laughs> just internet and TV and whatnot. But uh, yeah, okay, we got the sound right here. So this is the International Wealth Builders Association radio show presented by the real men of real estate. I am your host, Tony Escobedo. I'm supposed to say that. I am your host, Tony Escobedo. And it's, uh, like I say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a rookie at this. This is my second time. This is my second show. But it's an, you know, I want to uh, uh, thank Marie Waite. Thank you so much, uh, Marie and Joe, who is uh, our engineer, doing a great job. And uh, you're doing a fantastic uh, job. And um, yeah, it's just a privilege to uh, be here and an honor. And thank you for joining us here today. 
as you can see, we're just we're just real men. We're not fake men of real estate. You know, we're real. We're human. We make mistakes. We try to do our best. You know, we sometimes do things on the fly and think quick on our feet. And things sometimes don't always turn out how you plan them or how you intended them to be. But, um, you know, like my saying is, you don't have to be good. You just have to be consistent. And, um, you know, you just have to keep going. And that's what I was saying in the previous segment is just to keep going. Don't be, uh, don't be discouraged. If you can hear the sound of my voice, just remember that tomorrow will be a better day. Joy comes in the morning. Don't worry. I mean, it sounds a bit cliche-ish, you know, the, the, you know, the, it, it's true that it's darkest before the dawn. You know, there's always a, you know, there's a, you know, after the storm, there's, there's calm, all these little cliche things, you know, but they're true. You know, just, just remember that uh, we woke up today. I think it's 150,000 people don't wake up every day, I believe, or die every day. And um, uh, I, I believe that number is true, uh, at least 50,000. But I think it's 150,000, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. So uh, it's a lot of people, and we did definitely wake up today. So I mean, let's try to get in a good mood. Let's try to be positive. Uh, you know, segging into what I was saying in the last segment, uh, as far as mindset. So it it goes back to mindset, and it all starts with mindset. It. It's strange, you know, because it's 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 like my mentor says, Dean Graciosi, and and he's so right. The thing of it is, is he's right, folks. He's absolutely right, and and we need to listen to what he's saying. We need to hear what he's saying, and uh, you know, in that the techniques are out there. They're not hidden. You know, the techniques of wholesaling, for example, you can find on YouTube. They're everywhere. You can go to you can go to Jerry Norton. You can. I mean, there's so many people. So many people wholesaling. I mean, you can just, you know, there's free ebooks on on the mechanics of it and the understanding of it. But do you read them? Have you actually downloaded like, you know, have you actually downloaded uh, like 30 days to real estate cash is from my mentor, Dean Graciosi. Uh, he wrote that years ago. That is just a simple read. That is a uh, uh, that's that's just a, a that basically is a, you know, wholesaling for dummies. Maybe I'll write a book. I don't know if there is a book called Wholesaling for Dummies, but real, you know, real estate. And I should, I should write it. And um, been thinking about it for years, and thinking about writing my book for years. Haven't done that yet, but I, I just started getting success, uh, real success, you know, with uh, wholesaling. And so um, I, I definitely need to get off of my tuchus and and uh, write it. But again, whole, uh, or excuse me, mindset. <laughs> so the techniques are are out there. They're out there. It's not some hidden information that only the mega wealthy have. You know, with the, ooh, the secret. I remember I watched The Secret back in the day. It's not a secret. It's not a secret. It's just that um, you do kind of have to get red-pilled. You have to get red-pilled, reference to The Matrix, if you don't know that. If you, basically, you take a red pill and you wake up, and, and you wake up out of, your, out of, out of the um, zombie sleep that you're in. And The Matrix is the theme of that movie. I just, spo- spoiler alert. So if you haven't watched The Matrix, but that's 20 years old. So you, you, know, you have to get red-pilled, and you have to go find this information. You must push yourself. You know, once you make a decision, once, once the moment comes, you, know, you make a decision. Like right now, maybe you're listening to me right now. Even if there's one person listening to me, I will be absolutely so happy if, if you change your life. You know, let me know, please. You know, months from now, years from now, when you've changed your life, make sure that you know that you heard this show and you changed your life. You made a decision. You're like, I heard Tony Escobedo. I heard that crazy man. And he was, man, he was right. I took action. I, I, I downloaded 30 Days to Real Estate Cash by Dean Graciosi or whatever other ebook. Uh, or I watched YouTube videos endlessly for days on end until my eyes are bloodshot and I went out to the real estate investment club meetings and I, I, I got a list of buyers, you know, let me know years later. Okay. I want to, I want to know about that. And, um, uh, you know, I, I, it, it, it's something that of course it just blesses you. It just, people have told me that before a couple of people in my life that, you know, I did, 
I did, you know, help them. And, uh, and, and it's, of course, it's just the most beautiful feeling. It's, there's such a beautiful feeling. You feel such joy inside, such happiness, you know, and you have to, you have to give it back. You know, you do have to give it back. You have to, you have to also help someone. So, and when you do, when you do make it, promise me, please, that you'll help somebody else, that you'll help somebody else. And, you know, I just, I get, I get emotional saying this because, um, you know, it's, it's true. You know, it's not cliche-ish, you know, we, you know, I, I, it's like, if you're hurting and you're down, you know, I'm, I, I mean, it's like, I feel you, I know, you know, what that's like and I know what it's like to be down. I know, I know what it's like. Uh, my why, I'll just tell you, my why is not to be blind and, and broke you know, and, and uh, alone, and I can't help my family, you know, or, or myself, you know, that's my, that's my why. It, that, and we have to find out what our why is. So, um, you know, that's, that's actually the first thing that really you should do is find out your why is, is uh, there's, there's an exercise called seven levels deep. And I would say, download that exercise, seven levels deep. It's on the internet. It's Google. You, you basically just, you ask, you know, and you, you do it with another person. So you have to do it with another person. And you, and you just ask them, why do you want to, uh, you know, why do you want to be successful in wholesaling? And they, whatever answer they tell you, uh, then, then you, you, you ask them basically seven times the same question. Whatever, whatever they say that why they want to be successful, you ask them, okay, I hear you. And why do you want to, why do you want to make that money? Why do you want to? And then you, it basically whittles down to, um, it whittles down to, to your real why on the seventh time. I don't know why, but it works on the seventh time. Not the fourth time, not the fifth time. Uh, it's the seventh time, you know? I mean, some, sometimes the sixth time, but it's usually, it's more than five, usually, four or five. I don't know why, but that's just, don't, I don't know why it works out. I'm telling you, do it, do it with somebody. Do yourself a favor. Be good to yourself. Do it with somebody um, uh, that, that you trust, Okay. So, uh, but that's why I'm saying this, because I know people are hurting everywhere, I, especially like most people cannot put $500 together. I was that guy not too long ago either. I think it was like six years, seven years ago or something like that. I, I, had, to, I had to ask my, my sister Erica to wire me money in, in, in uh, Cuernavaca, Mexico. I was with my wife and I ran out of cash. I just didn't plan correctly. Things got more expensive and... Uh, I, hey, can you, you know, can you help me? How embarrassing and humiliating is that? My little sister, and I have to ask her, but I'll never forget that she did that. And I love her, Erica. I love you. And thank you for that. I'll never forget that. And um, so, so um, I know I, what it's like. I know what it's like to not have money. And it's basically, you can't breathe. Money's like oxygen. If you, if, if you, it's like you can't breathe. It's like you can't breathe. And then once you start making money, you can finally breathe. So it's something that, uh, something that I'm aware of. Okay. So, um, you know, I'm not, <laughs> you know, it's like, I, I barely started making money, like real money. And I'll just tell you, I'll be transparent right now. I'll probably making, I mean, it's not even a ton really. It's right now I'm only making probably about like, you know, probably about like 30 a month right now you know that's only like only like 360k a year only oh my goodness <laughs> but i mean of course right that's like i don't have to worry about rent i don't have to worry about um sending money to my wife she's in mexico immigration issues it's a long story i'll, I'll share that eventually it's it's a it's a mess and that's 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 another thing that she's been in mexico for nine years and i go back and forth it's a mess an absolute mess, but I go back and forth and I mean, legally blind, you know, okay. So we're all in different, we're all in different stages. We're all in different, you know, we're all in different places. We're all in different stages. So, um, yeah. So what can I tell you? You know, you just, you know, just mindset is, um, you know, mindset, it starts with that. It is, um, you know, it's, it's, it's very, very important that that's actually the building block. You got to have that, that, you know, you got to have that. So anyways, just want to tell you that. Um, and I want to reiterate that and check your mindset, folks, check your mindset. Are you watching? Oh, I don't want to forget. 
I don't want to forget. You know, I'm not perfect on this. I watch podcasts that talk about the news. Still, you know, they don't they don't talk. You know, I don't watch the news on cable or TV. I don't even have cable. I have a TV, but it's an internet TV. So I don't watch the news. You know, I don't watch I don't watch the Google feed. You know, or anything like that. But I still watch some podcasts that they talk about the news. They talk about big stories and things like that. And it's not that bad, but it's still bad. I shouldn't be doing that. Dean Graziosi says, don't watch the news. He hasn't watched the news in 10 years. And I think he's probably worth a hundred million. I'm not sure, but it's, 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 you know, his life is, is, is a life we aspire to, right? A life of ease. So, um, yeah. So what can I tell you? So yeah, we are going to, I think we're going to take a break here pretty quick. Matter of fact, in a lickety split, we will take a break. And uh, in the next segment, in the next segment, I'm going to talk about, uh, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and I'm going to finish up a couple of my deals in the next segment. We are going to go to break and uh, don't go anywhere. Don't switch the channel, whatever you do, and uh, get something to drink if you have to. And um, I will see you back here in a few minutes and we're going to talk about a few more deals and then we're going to talk about my predictions hang on okay fire up connect is the most innovative business networking group supporting and collaborating with a dozen of small businesses that are interested in building and establishing strong business connections hosting educational live seminars while carrying out business and community driven projects as well as marketing programs as a part of its membership program. FireUp Connect also offers virtual assistance with a wide range of services including inbound customer support, chat support, appointment setting and email management, graphic designing video editing, web design and development, social media marketing, e-commerce solution, content writing and much more. For more information, head on over to www.fireupconnect.com. Fire Up Connect. Helping success stories unfold every day. The toughest part in the lending process is patience. Like I tell all my clients, once you get those keys in hand, it'll all be worth it. Everything that they said they were gonna do, they did. I saved so much money working with First Lending Solutions. I love my new house. I couldn't be happier. So reach out to me at First Lending Solutions so I can help you get started. You can contact Dafina Miller with First Lending Solutions at 951-973-0123, DafinaMillerMortgage.com. I love how New School is able to help me greatly with my career because they actually have uh. experience working in the field. The greatest thing about New School is the fact that there are so many different disciplines which allows you to really understand and get a good insight into different types of design. And I think it's that whole changing mindset of what design can really do for a city and this is kind of the place to be. This environment cultivates creative thinking. Real Men of Real Estate with Steve Matley, construction manager and real estate developer, business owner and educator. Did you know that right now there's 22,000 units deficit? Tunde Ogunwale, real estate development professional, Naval Academy grad and veteran with a deep understanding of the public sector process. All of us want to live in thriving communities. Brian Fox, real estate expert and investor dedicated to helping hundreds of clients make money in real estate every year. There's so much housing going in. The builders are begging for more land. Future company can come in, lease up space, to employ those people who are living in the homes. We have to put the housing in place. They either, either have to have houses, they want to make sure that there's a strong employment logistics center. Things like information hubs. We are a shipping economy now. There's economies all over the country where their prices are doubling and tripling. back so here we go 
Um, <laughs> hey, forgive me. Trying to uh, trying to get this down. <laughs> trying to get the timing down. Forgive me. But nevertheless, let's jump right into it. We don't have a lot of time. So, um, okay. I just want to uh, let's just let's just um, let me see. Well. I'll just I'll just say about the deals quickly, and then I want to get into the predictions. That is that, um, uh, like I was saying, you know, the last few deals got my last few wholesale deals done. There, uh, well, two of them are in escrow, so awaiting those twenty k and fees coming to me. And let me see, um, you know, we're making offers. We're close on a couple of deals. Um, and the lead flow is insane. It's coming in. It's th this is going to segue into predictions, actually. So, um, I mean, we get a lot of lead flow. We, we text blast real estate agents uh, in 15 different markets across the country. Here in Southern California, we, we wholesale them ourselves. And then in the other 15 markets, we, um, we actually uh, send those to uh, our, our partner, a partner of ours. And uh, they're a big wholesale brokerage. And then they just go ahead and wholesale them and then give us a piece of the fee when, when it's closed. And uh, it's great cash flow from that. That's, that's pretty simple. We just send them a lead, we send them an email, and we get paid. That's awesome. So, and we love them. They're great. Uh, appreciate them. They're, they're amazing. They're an amazing uh, uh, company and uh, uh, very grateful, and we love them, and I have great relationships with them, um, and I'm happy with that. And then, of course, you know, we're doing the deals here in Southern California, and, um, but what I see segging into predictions is that I see boy the lead flow has increased the lead flow has increased uh there are sellers getting desperate massive price reductions I see um you know I mean basically it's it's across the board I'm you know we're we're we're, we're starting to see agents that are more uh pliable they're more flexible they're there, you could just tell in their voices, you know, <laughs> a little bit more, a little bit more, you know, humility, not so much hubris and this crazy market that we've had this absolutely insane bubble market that's, <laughs> it's crazy, you know, uh, you know, there's, there, there's something that you should know is that most investors only know how to make money fixing and flipping on an uptrending market. Most investors only know how to make money fixing and flipping on an uptrending market. They don't know how to make money when a market's going sideways or down. Uh, and right now, I'd say we're going sideways. Uh, transactions are down across the board. I mean, you name it, 30% pretty much. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> so, so segging into predictions, um, I think by the end of the year, we're going to mortgage rates will be another 1%, if not higher. Um, the Fed has already said, they've already signaled that they're going to, in the next meeting here uh, this month, that they're going to do half a point raise. And then in, I believe it's an August they meet or September, I think. It's another half point, um, maybe more. You know, I, I'm not sure. Uh, but I, I think that we're in a time of uh, raising uh, interest rates, rising interest rates. And money has been so cheap for so long. It's been such a orgy, for lack of a better word, um, financially. It's been uh, such cheap money and <laughs> printing of money. I mean, basically, that's what that's what quantitative easing was: is printing. It, they they should they couldn't call it money printing, so they call it quantitative easing. And so, like, <laughs> and it's just money printing. That's all it is, is money, is money uh, printing. So um, what can I tell you? You know, it's, um, I'm not going to look at the timer to see when we should take the next segment. I'm just going to go by my heart, okay? Don't judge me, please. So, uh, but I will, I will um, you know, I will, I will stop sooner so we can go to break, okay, folks? So you can grab a cup of water or, you know, go to the restroom. Anyway, so, so, so predictions. I think that... Um, as I said about mortgage rates, they're going to continue to rise. I mean, they don't really have another choice. Uh, they don't really have another choice. The Fed doesn't, you know, that's one of their ammunition, one of their bullets is to raise the federal funds interest rate to basically cause a recession. <laughs> 
that's basically what they do, even though they don't tell you that. They don't teach you that in school, but they, they cause a recession because inflation, that's their tool against inflation. We, sh we should have never been in this, in this mess. They should have never printed. For, I mean, it's so ridiculous. You know, how do we, you know, if you're asking yourself, well, how did, they, how did this happen? How did it happen? Business closures during the pandemic, the, the, very, the very silly, unwise, absolutely ridiculous uh, destruction of, of the economy. <laughs> That's what that was. There's no other way to say it, folks. That's what it is. Why don't you just call it what it is, okay? And stop pretending like you know uh, what business is and economics, Mr. and Mrs. Politician. Are they just destroy here in California, they destroy the economy. It is, it is destroyed. There's no other way to say it. There's no other way to look at it. It is destroyed. And in other states, it's destroyed as well. Are you saying it's not destroyed? I, I will debate you. I would, I would love to have a debate with somebody that tells me that it's not destroyed. Anyways, it's, it's a terrible thing. It's a terrible thing that should have never happened. Um, it, it, they should have never closed. They, they should have never, the ridiculous COVID wars. And it's so ridiculous. Um, and I caught COVID, by the way, and it was terrible. I thought I was having a heart attack. So it mimicked a heart attack. And um, it was horrible. And so uh, probably affected my kidneys, too. I have kidney issues. So that's, that's another thing. So, you know, I'm, I'm a veteran of the COVID wars, you know. And I am vaccinated. Okay. I'm not an anti-vaxxer. Don't come at me with any ridiculousness. You know, it's like I'm totally vaxxed. I'm triply vaxxed, as a matter of fact. I'm not getting a fourth vax, though. I'll tell you that right now. A buddy of mine is pushing me, and I'm like, I'm not getting it. You know, my kidneys, the only thing they can think of that caused kidney damage was COVID. And I'm not going to take another vaccine a fourth time that's got the, the spike protein in there. You know, COVID spike protein. I'm not going to inject that in my body again, you know, when all it's supposedly going to do is really just help me not get so severely sick. Okay? It's, it doesn't stop you from transmitting to, to, to anybody else. It's still, you're still contagious. What are we talking about, people? What are we talking about here? Anyways, so <laughs> the COVID silliness. So anyways, this is why we have the inflation. It's not Russia, although we stopped, <laughs> we stopped depending, depending on our own oil, and we started buying oil from Russia. Go figure, right? You know, it's just not, it didn't seem like, it seemed like people don't know what they're doing. It's... <laughs> And I'm not partisan, okay? I am not partisan guy. I'm not that. I'm not that guy. You'll never know how I vote. I'm never gonna say or choose tell you what party or this or that. I'm I'm in the center. All right, leave me alone. Don't bother me. So <laughs> can't we all just get along? I mean, we all need to get along. Seriously, it's too much. Um, okay. So back to predictions before we go to break here, and that is um. And that basically is that, yes, we have rising interest rates. I think, I think the war will continue in Russia, unfortunately. You know, never, learn, never let a good war go to waste, uh, you know, is, is, is what they say. Um, it's big business. You know, Raytheon, they're, they're sending – I was reading how they're sending their, you know, their used weapons, their, 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 their B weapons, and then now they can make more weapons. Now, now, now it's going to stimulate the economy in those areas that those factories are in that make weapons. I, you know, it's that simple. It's that simple and it's being used as a, you know, a weapon in Ukraine. And it's terrible for the Ukrainians. I feel terrible, you know, I feel terrible for them. I'd never want to, you know, I, I'm, I'm against war. So, uh, but I think that will go on. I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to, you know, let me know what really side I'm on. I, um, I think the war will continue. I think inflation will continue to rage. The similarities between now and the late 70s. And I remember the late 70s. I remember the gas lines. I remember no inflation here in, at the local liquor store, liquor, liquor store over there, the convenience store. <clears throat> so um, I remember the Watts riots. And so um, I'm telling you, the similarities are eerie. So I think, um, I, I, I think that uh, we're going to repeat that. And, uh, you know, so that's what I'm thinking, what my predictions are. Um, and uh, all right, we're going to go to a break and then we'll have our last segment. So uh, come back, go get a drink of water, and we'll see you here pretty soon, okay? Don't go anywhere.
FireUp Connect is the most innovative business networking group. Supporting and collaborating with a dozen of small businesses that are interested in building and establishing strong business connections. Hosting educational live seminars while carrying out business and community driven projects, as well as marketing programs as a part of its membership program. FireUp Connect also offers virtual assistance with a wide range of services including, inbound customer support, chat support, appointment setting and email management, graphic designing video editing, web design and development, social media marketing, e-commerce solution, content writing and much more. For more information, head on over to www.fireupconnect.com. Fire Up Connect, helping success stories Sorry, unfold every best. day. Sorry, doing my best. The toughest part in the lending process is patience. Like I tell all my clients, once you get those keys in hand, it'll all be worth it. Everything that they said they were gonna do, they did. I saved so much money working with First Lending Solutions. I love my new house. I couldn't be happier. So reach out to me at First Lending Solutions so I can help you get started. You can contact Dafina Miller with First Lending Solutions at 951-973-0123, DafinaMillerMortgage.com. I love how New School is able to help me greatly with my career because they actually have experience working in the field. The greatest thing about New School is the fact that there are so many different disciplines which allows you to really understand and get a good insight into different types of design. And I think it's that whole changing mindset of what design can really do for a city and this is kind of the place to be. This environment cultivates creative thinking. Real Men of Real Estate with Steve Matley, construction manager and real estate developer, business owner and educator. Did you know that right now there's 22,000 units deficit? Tunde Ogunwale, real estate development professional, Naval Academy grad and veteran with a deep understanding of the public sector process. All of us want to live in thriving communities. Brian Fox, real estate expert and investor dedicated to helping hundreds of clients make money in real estate every year. There's so much housing going in. The builders are begging for more land. Future company can come in, lease up space to employ those people who are living in the homes. We have to put the housing in place. They either, either have to have houses, they want to make sure that there's a strong employment logistics center. Things like information hubs. We are a shipping economy. Now, there's economies all over the country where their prices are doubling and tripling. I tell you, um, so this is fun. I got to say, this is fun. This is great. I, I actually, before I get away from predictions, um, and this is our last segment, by the way, I wish I were with you for a while. I'll be starting my podcast soon, and I would love for you to see me there. We're going to talk about all kinds of stuff, not just real estate or as the Latinos say, real estate. And um, I am Mexican. And so, um, uh, you know, we'll we'll talk about relationships. We'll talk about uh, current events. You know, and then uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. We'll just talk about everything: music, real estate, of course, investments, business, economics, um, everything and everything: fashion, art, music, uh, literature, literature. And so, um, yeah, I'll be I'll be starting that. I'm I'm definitely gonna be starting that. So I'd love to have you all there. But it's great to be here with you today, uh, uh, and I forgot to say welcome to the International Wealth Builders Association radio show uh, presented by Real Men of Real Estate. I'm your host, Tony Escobedo. It's presented by real men, not fake men, okay, of real estate. So, um, <laughs> yeah, there are fakers out there too, by the way. Uh, my mentor, uh, 
uh, Matt Larson, I just want to say, uh, said not too long ago, I was at a mastermind with him in the Quad Cities in Iowa, where, where he's from and his, his main and first market what is. And he said how there's so many fake people that they don't even do deals. They sell education. They don't, do, they don't even do deals themselves. It's incredible, really. It, it's, it's true. I, I, I realize that that's true because, like, I mean, now as being 12 years into it, I've, I've met enough people and, uh, you know, people say they do deals and then they, they, re they really don't, you know, and it's like, they're, they're really not doing deals. You know, they're, they're, you know, maybe they got something going on like me that I, I was just sending my leads over to my partner, uh, this wholesale brokerage. And I mean, I wasn't wholesaling, they were the ones wholesaling it, you know, but now I took it back and now it's, you know, about 50 or so wholesale deals that I've done on my own or, you know, with, with partners, but, uh, that I've done them directly in other words. And, um, and yeah, so just, just be careful, just be careful. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, I vouch for my, my mentor, Matt, Matt Larson, he's real. I, it, this, this sounds like I'm, <laughs> this sounds like I'm selling, you know, Matt Larson, but, but I'm just, I love him. And, uh, I already told him my, my first child will be named, uh, Matt. Second child will be named Ryan, and the third child will be named Larson, and his middle name is Ryan. But my best friend's name hap happens to be Ryan as well. So uh, it's it's also because of that, because I love Ryan, my my buddy in Indianapolis. Love you, Ryan, if you're listening, by the way. Miss you, man. You should come out here, dude. Come out here. It's beautiful in San Diego. It's beautiful in Southern California. So, uh, but, you know, sad to say we only have a few minutes left. Dog, gone it. But... Um, you can petition, you know, uh, uh, the radio station to give me more time. I'm just kidding. No, but we, we, um, I'll be on here again eventually, but I'll just, I'll just wrap up the, uh, you know, just basically a wrap up and I'll just wrap up, uh, you know, we have a couple of minutes left. I'll just say, um, that, that basically in the next, our, our recession is coming. I think it's going to last a while, probably 10 years. And it'll last a long time, I think. It'll, it'll. Last, I don't, I don't know. You know, could be ten, but um, I'm, I'm saying ten. And so, it's going to be the greatest time to make money. It's going to be the greatest time to become wealthy. And, uh, you know, my, my, my mentor is not to keep bugging about my mentor, but my mentor, uh, <laughs> he uh, basically made the bulk of his wealth in like a two-year period, and that's going to be. Um, that's going to be us. It's, 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 it's something where, um, it's something that we can make a ton of cash in this next downturn. Businesses will be, you know, seller financing will be available for that deals. Of course, tons of wholesale. Just, just think about it. We have massive layoffs coming, but there's going to be massive, massive deals coming. If you're, if you're positioned, if you're ready to wholesale, you got to wholesale. It's a no brainer. You got to wholesale. So uh, this this recession coming is going to be the, one of the greatest transfers of wealth. Recessions are always a great time to get wealthy and make money and start a business. So hang in there, okay? Don't get too down. Remember, you're listening to this show, so that means that you want to change. That means that you want to do something. So thank you for listening. Tony Escobedo signing out. God bless you. KCAA Loma Linda, 1050 AM, 106.5 FM, and now 102.3 FM.